Hey everyone, it's Alex. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, I am a full-time reseller on Poshmark, eBay, Mercari, and Relove. Um, I'm known as Alex by Design, and I will have all of my links in the description. Today I have for you a um, thrift haul. Uh, yesterday I went to the Goodwill bins where you pay per pound for your items, um, and I'd like to share with you what I found. So I have an Ikea bag full. I have some accessories which I'll go through first and then I have some clothing. Um, and if I randomly look away from the camera it's because my little box is over on this side and I have a friend here and she might come and join me in a bit. <clears throat> so let's get started. Um, oh, and also please subscribe, give this video a thumbs up. If you're interested in anything before it's listed, please feel free to email me. I'll also have that in the description. Um, and comment if you have any questions. So yeah, here we go. Alright, so the first item that I have today is this bag -lini. It's like a satchel, I think. It's got an adjustable strap on it. bag is a pretty easy flip for me. Um, I found one more before. Um, they don't sell for a lot, but if I can find them a new home, I'm more than happy to pick them up. Um, so this one has a little bit of tarnishing around like the metal and stuff. Um, and it actually is missing a button, the front button, for the flap, but it's a pretty sturdy, like, flap here, and as long as I am very clear about that in the description and I lower the price, I still don't think I'm going to have an issue selling it. Um, and Bagline is really known for, like, their 400,000, um, pockets. Literally 400,000, so it's got, like, a bunch on the inside, and it's got some on the outside as well, and on the back. So that one will be nice. Um, and then these ones I haven't cleaned up yet. I actually filmed my video yesterday and I forgot to turn my mic on. Um, so instead of like being productive and cleaning them, I just gave up on the day because I was so upset. So just bear in mind that I will be cleaning these up. My favorite thing to use and pretty much the only thing I use is water and barkeeper's friend mm, seems to work for me so if it ain't broke don't fix it <laughs> all right so i've got i sell men's and kids and women's on my primary closet and then my secondary closet is a clearance store for women's wear i love picking up men's shoes um they sell really well for me and so i grab these they're a pair of toms um, they are a men's ten and a half, and I like that they're like a chevron and a zigzag print, almost block-like, um, and they're a really good shape. Like, they've been used, obviously, because they're filthy, but, um, I think somebody will really like them. Alright, and then I found a second pair of men's shoes. These are Cole Haan size. 11 I think yeah 11 I really really like these ones so the leather needs to be conditioned and I do have some of that but I love that they have red laces and then there is this like outer plaid detail on them um they have been used but like not too much it's just the heel somebody dragged their feet <laughs> so I'm really excited to sell these um Next, I don't know, I don't think that this brand sells for a lot, but this style is so stinking cute. They're Dexter is the brand, and they're a size seven and a half. Here, I'm going to stick my foot on them. Oh, these are men's as well, actually. I wish they were women's. Um, so if you're like, a, what I think, a nine and a half in women's, these would work for you too. But they're a pair of like ankle high moccasins. Um, they're really, really soft leather. Um, they're tall. These are in really good shape. They kind of have like a Sperry-like bottom. So kind of like a boat shoe almost, but obviously not. Love these. Um, I think I can just run these through the wash with some bleach. Um, I really enjoy selling Converse All-Stars. All-Stars are the more expensive Converse. 
um, and one stars are the ones that come from Target. But these are white, they're an ankle high, so chucks sell better for me, but I enjoy these as well. And they've got like red and it looks like black around the rubber. So yeah. Um, and then I've never thought that this would be a brand for shoes, but these are actually cat which is like a uh, heavy machinery brand, I think. It's just heavy machinery is what I mean when I say I think. But look at how fun these are. They're like a moto style boot and they're leather and they've got these big old buckles on them. And these really are in great shape as well. The bottoms, I mean like, it looks like they just wore them inside. So like they have somewhere, but I am just obsessed and they're color blocked and they have that zipper and then on the inside they have the zipper where um, you know you can get your foot in and these are a size 7 and these are women's they gotta be maybe these are men's too what the heck huh <laughs> that was my phone all right, so two more accessories, and then we'll move on to clothing. So this is actually like really old Banana Republic, but I really like the print on it, and I don't think that somebody's gonna really care that it's from 2002. This would be cute, like around the neck, or um, like as a bandana style, or to even tie onto your purse. But this gray label is old by Banana Republic, and then. The way that you can tell, it's kind of faded on the inside, but it's a spring of 02 on it. So that's when it was actually like made. So, I mean, it's, what's that, 17 years old. They kept it in really good shape for it being that old. Um, And then this one I'm super stoked about. So this is Long, long Chomp. <laughs> for a second I was like, oh no, this is fake. So it's Long Chomp and it's 100% silk and it's like these darker tones. Um, it's got purses on it, um, and then filigree kind of viney print with flowers. Super awesome. I love that. All right, so now we're going to move on to clothing. I didn't remove any tags, but obviously I paid per pound for these, so if you see any of the pricing, that's not actually what I paid. Um, okay, so this is Lucky Brand. It's so old, but I actually just picked up another Lucky Brand. Uh, it's a size medium. And it's like this thermal print and I think that text on the front is coming back in style and I really like the seam on the side because they added like that heavy stitching on it. Um, this is almost like a vintage style and it's navy, like a dark navy blue. And then it's cut in the front. I actually checked to make sure that it wasn't like cut by somebody and it's not. So the way I know that is because um, a so there's, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this, there's actually stitching around that raw cut. You can kind of see it. And then on the inside here, it's not, it's not cut. It's like stitched closed. So yeah, that's exciting. It's got some deodorant on it, but that can come out. I'll use um, water to get it off because I don't like running things through the wash if I don't have to. And then I steam them. So that'll completely sanitize it with the hot steam. Um, and then next I have a pair of linen shorts. They're Lucky Brand and they're a size 33 waist. These are an older label as well, but I like them. It's, it's we're coming up to the summer season. The more men's wear that I can find, the better. Um, men don't like to spend a lot on their clothing and um, it's expected that uh, men's clothes are going to dominate the market soon. So, if I can take advantage of that, I will. So they're like an off-white color, um, and then they have almost cargo-like pockets on the back, and then they have a drawstring tightening in the front. So these are cool. Next is a Banana Republic sweater. So Banana Republic, I find a lot of, and I don't mind picking it up, especially at the bins where you pay, you know, per pound. Um, but they, they don't resell for a lot, so that's fine with me though. So this is Banana Republic, size medium, and it's merino wool. It's lightweight, and this is actually a spring print. I remember looking at the date. 
yesterday, it's spring of 16, so it's got that v-neck, it's lightweight, I like the olive color, olive is one of my favorite colors to wear, I'm actually wearing it on my legs right now, um, for those of you who are fair skinned, have red hair, olive is the best color to wear, coral is the worst. Okay, so this is the first time I found this anthropology brand, it's Daughters of Liberation, and it's a size 8, and it's almost like a block style, um, it has two different um, fabrics on it. One of it's more like a canvas, and the other one's kind of blouse-like, and it's tab-sleeved. It looks terrible right now because it's not steamed, and the belt is making it look funny. Let's see if I can stretch this out a bit. So there's that, and then it does, it has belt loops and it has a belt. It's almost like a peacoat style. It has buttons on the inside and the outside with pockets. I wonder if there's cash in here. That'd be nice. I've never, like, the most I found in the bins was 10 cents. <laughs> I see people who are like, oh, I found hundreds of dollars in this jacket, and I'm like, I'll take my 10 cents. But yeah, it has a buckle closure. Next is a joie sweater, size medium, and it's reptile print, which reptile is coming into style this year, so keep an eye out for it. It's a v-neck, lightweight, three-quarter sleeved. Here's the reptile close-up. Super cute. I don't like reptile prints, so I won't take advantage of that, unfortunately. Um, and then I found some plus wear, which is always nice to find. So this is Soft Surroundings. I believe it says 2X. Yeah, it's a 2X, and it's this royal purple color. It's got a scoop neck, and then I what caught my eye was this... Um, like, uh, not patch. Oh yeah, no, kind of like a patch that they put at the bottom. I like that a lot. And then it actually has a gold leaf on the back as well. Next, this is one of my favorites that I found actually, a color that I can't wear. So this is left of center. Oh, let me see, left of center. I think that this might be anthropology as well or it's sold at Anthropology occasionally. But I can't find, oh, here's the interior tag, let's see. Nope. Um, my favorite part of this one is that it has slits up the side. Here, I should hold it up again. So it's kind of like a crew neck. And this is coral and it has slits up the side. Um, and then the trim is raw. So here is the trim. And then here are the little slits. Wait, I lied. You can't see it. Where'd they go? Oh, does it just have a slit on one side? It totally just has a slit on one side. How fun is that? So yeah. Next, this is another one of my favorites. Um, I've never found this brand, but um, I see it on like the label porn hashtag. So it's called Sunday, size medium. And this one has a tie on the bottom. And it's a lightweight sweater again. I'm wondering if this is more of a fall piece because of the colors that are in it. It's like maroon, brown, tan, cream, gray, or black. Um, but I would still wear this year round. Again, see, look, it's a good color on me. And it's long sleeved and it actually has ruching at the bottom. So here's the bottom of it. And next on the agenda is this between me and you. I don't know where this is sold. I'm wondering if it's like Target or if it's like a Nordstrom brand, house brand. Mm, it's a size large and I can't remember what the name of this print is. I want to say Heathered but it's definitely not because it's like two-tone woven um, and then it actually like the bottom hem and the cuffs are a different color and then it actually has zippers. Are they functioning? Yeah, you can actually like stick your whole hand in there. But they have zippers on the elbows, so that's really cool. It's like a gunmetal um, hardware. And here's the back. Oh, excuse me. 
Yeah, late night last night. All right, next I have a Men's Gap sweater. This is another brand that doesn't sell amazing for me. It's actually sold, um, I think Gap is like the primary brand, brand and it owns Athleta, Banana Republic, Old Navy, and then one other that I can't think of. Um, but it's a men's cable knit sweater and it's navy in color and there's the front and then here's the back so the back doesn't have the cable on it and neither do the sleeves okay this one I was super excited about yesterday I wish you guys would have seen my reaction but this is another gap um it has text in the front I don't know about like brands having labels on them or um people <laughs> wow brands having labels on them brands um having their name on the front but this one i love so it's gap and it's sequined and it's actually one of those flip ones so that was silver on one side and then i love playing with these it's like one of my favorite things to do the other side is patriotic how amazing is that see Oh, I love it, and it's a scoop neck, and the um, fabric kind of reminds me of, like, it's not terry cloth, but that other kind of, like, soft fabric, it made me think immediately of when you take, like, an infant out of the tub, and they have that little, like, poncho on them with the hood. Super fun. Really soft. And it doesn't have any stains on it. If I was to wear that... I would inevitably have like spaghetti sauce on it even if I didn't eat spaghetti that day. It would find a way or it'd spill like a whole pot of coffee. Um, this one isn't really anything special. It's actually Knox Rose which is sold at Target but I have an easy time selling this. I mean it's it's cheap. I sell it for like $10 but I'm totally fine with that. It's a really good bundling piece so that's usually what I sell it in is bundles. Um, but it's like a two tight fabric just long sleeve and it's got the drop side hems and then the front of it so the body kind of looks like a sweater knit and then it's um so there's the sides and it's more of a oh what's the word why has it escaped me yep can't think of it but it's that almost striped look I'll remember it later on in the video and it has it down the side as well I'm so excited about this. This is a cloth and stone flannel. So there's the label. And it's like another one of my favorite colors. And I wish it was my size because I would keep it for myself. Um, but it is plaid. It has a um, high-low hem and it's tab sleeved. And on the inside it is striped. So like the detail um, on the inside is striped. And here is the back, and it's a popover, so it's only partially buttoned up. I love that. I'm so excited. I hope somebody emails me about it. <laughs> um, next, another plus piece, Lane Bryant. This one is striped, kind of a distressed looking stripe of purple and white, and then has a breast pocket. Here is it. Um, it's a half sleeve. So there's the print kind of up close. And then here is the back. Really fun spring and summer color. This was my best find of the day and it's nothing special but I actually found this when I was out in Utah um, and I was just as excited about it. Um, and I found it at the bins and it was like no way and I just sold the other one two days ago. So the brand is Zoe and Liv. Don't know where it's from. It's a size small and it's the like moon, sun kind of mandala look. I'm so excited about this. I hope somebody grabs this up. That one I might keep for myself. I haven't decided yet. If somebody emails me about it, I'm, I'll say goodbye to it. So this next one is Saks Fifth Avenue and this is another popover and it's plaid and it's got another high-low hem, there's the back, it is not tab sleeved but it's still lightweight enough that you could wear it in the spring for sure. 
I don't know what this brand is. I'm gonna have to like look it up or ask for opinions, so let me know if you know what it is. Um, but this is a cropped, just lace top with a rolled sleeve. And it's wide fit. What would be so cute is if you wore a camisole under it. So like something that's super tight like this would even work. So I'm wearing a camisole right now and that would look so cute. So this is more of an ivory color um, that has a keyhole button in the back. Or button closure. Also, I've said this before, but if you don't know how lace is made, you should so look it up because it's really cool. Um, next is a pair of men's jeans. These are Banana Republic. It's their size 33, 30. Um, and then they're like this dark wash with a little bit of, can't think of what the word is, but they are just kind of a normal height. There's the back. Um, if I can ever find unique sizes, I will for sure grab it. Even if it has like a little bit of damage, I'll sell it cheaper. But um, I have an experience. My Nick um, wears a 30, 34, which is impossible to find. It's very difficult. So like this one is a 33, 30, which is kind of weird. I think 30, 32 or like 32, 34 is more average. Um, so I was excited when I found this because it's a unique size and men who are a unique size are always looking for more jeans. So that'll be a good sell. Um, I don't really ever pick up Maurice's, but this one was new with tags and it also is just a style that I really like. So if it's a style um, that I like and it's a lower end brand, I don't care, I'll pick it up. Um, and it's taupe, that's the color. Um, and it's a moto style, it's open, and it has bronze buttons on it. And it is new with tags, so that was super exciting too. Um, another gap top. This one's size large. Really good for spring and summer, especially like a cooler day. It's an eyelet. Um, I, it's not called an empire waist because it's like above the breast, but it's kind of that tight top and then it, it opens up to like a looser fit in the um, at the bottom. So here's the eyelet. And then the back is actually solid, so I like that. And it's got the keyhole button closure as well. And the sleeves are that solid print too. Oh, they have like, I didn't notice this yesterday. The cuffs um, have that cool trim, seaming, something. This one was kind of wishy-washy for me, but I ended up grabbing it because I just like the print on it. Um, this reminds me more of like the early 2000s. I don't know what that brand is and it's a size large, but it's so cool. It's like a tie-dyed print with um, cuts up the side and it has like flowers and other kind of geometric print and it has feathers on it. Um, and then it has beadwork on the collar. And it's a long sleeve. And then here are the cuts up the side. So yeah. We're almost done. There's a special place in my heart for banana Repu or not Banana Republic, American Eagle. I never wore it as a kid, but now I'm pretty obsessed with it because they figured out a way to make it the comfiest fabrics ever. If you know anything about me, you know that like most of my jeans are from American Eagle and I love their flannels. They're so soft. So I think this is new without tags and it's the vintage boyfriend fit. And the reason I think it's new without tags is because it still has this, um, size sticker on the breast and then let's see I'm gonna button just one button keep it kind of together so it's a loose fit it's got the giant pockets on the breast it's long sleeved and then it has a high low hem on it and it isn't tab sleeved but I still like oh that gray color just 
is so exciting to me and it's so wrinkled. <laughs> so there's that. And I do believe these are the last two. Yeah. So I've never actually picked up this brand. I think it resells well. So this is Penguin. It's a size large women's and it's striped blue, like sky blue, purple, and white. And then here is the body. And I like that it has that purple hem all around. Last but not least, this is another one of my faves that I found. It's not a special brand at all, but I love the print on it. It's a winter item, still don't care. I'm hoping somebody else will be super excited about it. So it's this brand called like, I think it's Ky Kyle maybe? I don't know. Um, and it's this giant pea coat. Oh, look at those pockets. And this flannel is amazing. It almost feels like wool, but it's not, it's like polyester. But I'm so stoked about it. And it has rolled sleeves at the bottom so you can't actually unroll these unless you seam ripped it. So if you have really long arms, you can seam rip it. Um, it's not attached to super aggressively. Oh no, I probably wouldn't suggest it because it's kind of got like a raw hem on the inside. Yeah, so that's my haul. Oh. This one I'm sending the thread up. I cannot give away Michael Kors, but it's this um, zebra print sheer blouse, and it's got the pockets on the breast. All right, so that'll do it today. Um, again, please like this video, um, comment, subscribe to me if you'd like. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.